Hi you guys, my name is Sierra Fountain. I'm the ABA Vice Chair with SBA. Me and Mary are here today to present our legal research initiative in the group to hopefully help prove you guys throughout the legal research process and give some perspective from fellow students who are 2003 years and what they've been through. That way we can help you guys with your future career and really shed a light on how important this class is and will be throughout the future. Hi, my name is Sed Mathis and I'm a 3 -0. So one of the challenges I face with legal research is search terms. Um, I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but I'll search something and it just will come up with no results. So one of the things that I found very beneficial is going to the Lexus trainings, participating in the Lexus certificates that they provide for you. Um, and so those are some tips that I would recommend for anyone who's looking for help with their legal research. Hey all, my name is Travis Lyons and I'm at 2L here at Mercer University School of Law. And probably one of the biggest challenges that I faced as a 1L when it came to legal writing was where do I even begin? That was something that was very intimidating and to an extent it was a bit overwhelming my first few months of my 1L year. However, that is also something that the more and more I did, the more confidence I would gain. One of the things that would help me out the most was starting my search with secondary sources such as the American Law Reports or something along those lines to be able to find a topic that I was researching. Once I would find a topic in the ALR, I would then use that to kind of pull cases within the jurisdiction that I was looking for to help support my argument or to be able to kind of find more cases. I hope that helps. Hi everyone, my name is Paige Menninger and I am a 2L. I will honestly say that my 1L year, I did not pay as much attention in legal research as I now know that I should have. I went to class and I went through the motions, but I didn't see it as a core class like crim law or torts or contracts. But now I regret it. And that is because starting out as an intern, one of your biggest jobs is gonna be legal research because it's time consuming and it can be kind of complicated. And therefore a lot of attorneys have their interns do it and they do that so they can write their briefs and their memos and all the other documents that they need to turn into the court. And so that job is on you and paying attention in legal research will really give you an upper hand in your internships. Hi, my name is Ashley Ferguson. As a 1L, I definitely put legal research in a box and I thought it was one size fit all. If I find the answer in this one case, that's it. Now I understand that there are other cases that may distinguish this one. There are nuances and there are different rules that may come about that if you don't do the extensive search that you need to, you may miss out on some important information. So make sure that you are doing a thorough job at your research. Hi, my name is Chad Capers, and legal research is one of the most critical skill sets you need to develop while you're in law school. Not only is it important for your summer work, your 1L and 2L summer will be filled with a bunch of legal research tasks, um, but also if you're interested in appellate advocacy, especially for your school's uh, moot court team. One aspect of the moot court competition is to write a brief to usually a Supreme Court or a mock Supreme Court. Um, and legal research comes into play like you have never <laughs> thought of before. One tip I have is to, of course, start with the case, uh, the cases that the lower court cite, but to go a step further and look at the cases that those cases cite. It will kind of help you get a general survey about the legal topic that you'll be arguing. Um. It's paramount to what I do. Again, I clerk for the Georgia Court of Appeals and I've joked with my judge that I'm going to stay until she kicks me out. So part of, I mean, the main point of my job is looking at briefs from parties appealing from a trial court and conducting the research for judge so that she can make um, a decision on what, however she wants to rule on an opinion. And so obviously getting the law correct is my number one job and that involves going through um, all the cases either in the dominant jurisdiction that you're in or in non-binding jurisdictions so it's completely <laughs> if i didn't do legal research i wouldn't have a job essentially here are a few tips to make the legal research process easier so always have a plan um, narrow down your jurisdiction 
um, use specific search terms. These are term connectors that are helpful, helpful to narrow down your search. This can be and, or, slash s, things like that. Um, and if you are researching secondary authority, always make sure to use the table of contents and the index, and this can help you find your statute or your treatise a lot easier. Hi, my name is Shreya Shah, and I'm the editor-in-chief of the Mercer Law Review. Today, I'm here to share two editing tips with you. First, do not spin your wheels. Check in with your local librarian or law school librarian if you are stuck doing legal research during the school semester or during your internship over the summer. They are always ready to help you whether you're looking for primary or secondary sources. My second tip is to not forget about common sources like Google or Wikipedia. While you might not always be able to cite to them, they are great places to look just to get an idea of where to start. Thanks much. Hi everyone, my name is Mary Elia and I am ABA Chair. Um, I, after watching this video, I hope you realize that these two and three have been in the exact same position you are and because they were diligent in making sure that they were doing their work and learning from their mistakes, they have all these tips to share with you. Just know that every year Mercer turns out a lot of great graduates who do really great with legal writing and legal research. So as long as you're diligent, you'll get there too. Stay strong.